The battle over proposed water rate hike this summer is getting heated. At a meeting today, leaders of cities across the region blasted the proposal because the rate hike is partially due to the city of Highland Park not paying its bill. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live in Highland Park tonight. And uh, Hank, it sounds like they owe a lot of money. Uh, Kimberly, we are talking about millions of dollars, and here's what it comes down to. These surrounding communities saying today enough is enough. We no longer want to be responsible for the debt here in this city today. We certainly don't want to keep paying the bills moving forward. It's a big battle over money, and in simplistic terms, it really comes down to this. If the t uh, total cost to operate the system is $100, and we're short $10 because somebody's not hasn't paid, that's accounting rules required as a debt expense. And as you said, it becomes an operating expense of the system. The issue rate hikes for all connected to a debt owed by one. The Great Lakes Water Authority owed more than $50 million from the city of Highland Park because of a decade of non-payment. A legal battle is now underway, but stuck in the middle, all the other surrounding communities now looking at rate increases. This morning, a meeting over the financial fallout. We need to pay our workers, right, to give you the water that you get. We need to pay our suppliers. We need we have expenses that are real expenses and we are not for profit, right? We are a governmental entity. So we need the money to be able to run the system. So what can be done to hold Highland Park responsible? There are 9,000 people in the city of Highland Park. Individual people. Most of those households are paying their water bills to the city, right? So we're not going to create a public health crisis over two governmental entities having a charge dispute. This morning, the Conference of Western Wayne voting to not pay the debt allocation for the city of Highland Park. Back out here live, and as you probably guessed, this debt didn't pop up overnight. We're talking about more than 10 years back in the emergency manager day. So as you would expect, and they're asking the state to look into this one and investigate it, it's not going to be solved overnight. It's going to take some time to sort this one out. We're live here tonight in Highland Park. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank, local four. Okay, Hank, thanks.